Welcome back to Melita's Delicacies. Friends, I'm sure all of you must be getting into the spirits of Christmas by now. As we are in the first week of Advent and the Christmas tree standing tall in the room, it's looking a lot more like Christmas. I'm really excited to present to you my special Christmas cake recipe. And friends, I'm sure you must have seen my Christmas cake fruit soaking recipe a month ago. If not seen, I'm leaving the link in the description box. Do watch. And even if you have not soaked your fruits as yet, you can still do it better late than never. And those already done, join me in baking the most indulgent cake ever. And also make sure you subscribe my channel and press the bell icon that will notify you of my new videos that, that I upload every week. And do watch the video till the end so you do not miss important tips in baking the most indulgent cake ever. So now let's get baking. And here are the ingredients that you require to make this most indulgent cake. Cake. Drain off the excess liquid or the rum which comes off with the fruits and keep it aside. You, you can use it in baking. Now here I have taken 1 cup of butter at room temperature. 2 cups of soaked fruits in rum. 1.5 cup of brown sugar. This will give that color to your cake. 3 cups of all-purpose flour, 8 large and fresh eggs at room temperature, 1 orange for jest and juice and 1 lime for jest. A few cherries for color and the type of nuts that you want to use. These are the nuts that I prefer so I have taken. I have taken here the rum and orange juice and I have taken here the grapefruit marmalade. Here I have treacle or the molasses, cinnamon powder, nutmeg powder, cloves powder and allspice powder. And I have also taken a few of Tutti Frutti that will add a little more color to your cake as you cut because the soaked ones become discolored. Now first thing first, let's prepare our tin. Always make sure that you prepare your tin and keep it ready before you mix your batter. I have taken here 9 inch tin and I will line it with 2 or double parchment paper and I will also line the sides of the tin with a the parchment paper or the butter paper. Grease your tin generously with butter. Then place your double parchment paper or grease the butter paper as well. Grease the side lining butter paper that you are going to use and nicely place it at the sides. Here I have chopped my nuts. They are about one cup. 3 cups of all-purpose flour and here I am adding all the spices, half teaspoon of all-spice all powder, half teaspoon of nutmeg powder, quarter teaspoon of cloves powder and one teaspoon of cinnamon powder. Mix all the ingredients together and sieve them. Of the measured all-purpose flour. Take about three tablespoons and coat the soaked fruits after draining the excess uh, liquid from them and keep them aside. Now why we need to coat the fruits in the dry flour is because sometimes if you do not coat them they tend to settle down at the bottom of the cake. Mix in the dry fruits now here I have taken about 2 cups of soaked fruits, 1 cup of dried fruits and a quarter cup of fresh tutti frutti and glazed cherries. So all together I have taken about 3 and a quarter cup of fruits. 
Take butter in a large bowl and whisk it with a hand whisker or a beater till it turns pale and as after it turns pale you start adding in your brown sugar one tablespoon at a time this will help in mixing it well scrape off the sides as and when required to do so now add in this mixture one egg at a time this will help in a good mixing of the egg and the sugar will also get dissolved in while you're mixing make sure your eggs are fresh and at room temperature add in all the eight eggs one by one and add in half teaspoon of salt now this is because my butter was unsalted if you're using salted butter avoid using the extra salt add the molasses now here i have used about one and a half tablespoon of molasses if you want a very dark color to your cake then you use more molasses now this is orange uh, juice of one orange mix in well and here i have spiced rum now here i am using the marmalade this is a very unique marmalade uh, which i am using of which the recipe i will upload a little later in my channel so do keep tuned to melita's delicacies for this special marmalade this is my innovation now you can use any marmalade that you uh, you have at hand or if you do not have marmalade then you can use strawberry jam or a fig jam it's totally optional mix in the marmalade for a few seconds just one orange and one lemon just fold it into the mixture now add flour in batches to the mixture and fold it into the mixture with a cut and fold method now add in all the flour and mix in and your batter is almost ready now add the roots those also you add in batches preferably so that every fruit gets gets well mixed in the batter and friends please if you like my recipe don't forget to like share and if you have not subscribed to my channel as yet please do subscribe and tune to melita's delicacies for more interesting recipes add the batter to the cake cake tin which we have already prepared and kept do not worry about the cake spilling off because this cake will not rise very high and we have not used any baking powder in it tap in well the cake this is a very dense cake so it will not rise much our cake batter is ready i am going to line the outside of the tin also with double parchment paper and secure it with a kitchen string now this is very important to line the tin with double parchment paper because the cake is going to be baking for 2 and 1/2 hours or more now the instructions about of the temperatures that i'm giving to you is a non fan oven so adjust the temperatures according to the type of your oven preheat your oven for 15 minutes at 165 degree celsius after that you place your cake into the preheated oven and bake it at 150 degree celsius for the first 1 hour for the second 1 hour you bake the cake at 130 degrees and after that for the next half an hour you bake this cake at 110 degrees celsius adjust accordingly
I am also will differ depending upon the type of your oven. After two and a half hours, you open up the oven, do the skewer test. If it comes out clean, then your cake is ready. But if it is not ready, then leave it for another ten to fifteen minutes, depending upon how much it needs to be baked. But if it is ready, then also you do not remove the cake immediately out. Let it be remain in the oven for fifteen minutes. After that, you remove the a cake and place it on a wire rack to cool down but just remove the outside parchment paper and when the cake is still warm when you need to do the first feeding of the cake which is very important just prick in the cake with a long skewer and you put and feed the cake with about 2 tablespoon of rum Cover the cake with the parchment paper and leave it on the wire rack till it cools down completely. After it is cooled down completely, then you do the second feeding of the cake. At this time, you remove the cake out from the tin, remove the side parchment paper, and drill holes in the uh, skewer in the cake with the skewer. and at the sides also and feed the cake again with rum for the second time this time use only about 1 tablespoon of rum to feed from the top of the cake and the another half 1 tablespoon of rum you use to brush the cake on the sides this might sound to you there's a lot of rum in this cake yet yeah? remember the rum that you used while baking the cake has been already evaporated it has only left its flavors to the cake so th that will not make the cake so boozy what you feed the cake after the cake is baked that is what makes the cake boozy now after the second feed you cover your cake with a silver foil and a parchment paper and a a kitchen towel and uh, keep it in a nice cool dry place now the covering of the cake is important so that the rum doesn't evaporate and your cake doesn't turn dry also it acts as a preservative it also it will keep your cake air tight or you can just cover it in a parchment paper and put it in an air tight container and keep it also no need of refrigerating the cake because the rum acts as a very good preservative for the cake repeat this process of feeding the cake every 2 days for the first week and after that once a week you only brush the cake with the rum so that it does not get dry and it preserves the cake and you will have a very indulgent cake for your christmas now i will show you my cake after one week do try this recipe at home with your family and friends and don't forget to leave a comment in my comment section of how your cake turned up and how you liked my recipe if you like my uh, video please do press the thumbs up and do share my video with your family and friends come let's cut the most indulgent flavorful rich moist cake with me this is going to be the most flavorful cake that you ever had do try this recipe with your family this christmas season and enjoy after all christmas is a time for family get togethers and sharing lots of love from melita's delicacies keep watching melita's delicacies for more christmasy recipes coming this christmas season and if you haven't subscribed to my channel as yet please do it now and, and press the bell so that every time i upload a video you will be notified Lots of love from Melita's Delicacies. 
happy christmas be blessed this is malita wrapping up with the christmas cake with lots of love to you all